The Breeders' Cup Challenge Series, presented by America's Best Racing, is entering the stretch. This weekend will feature an array of races on both coasts and in France. On Saturday, the Handicap Division will compete in the Awesome Again at Santa Anita, where Royal Ship will look to earn a spot in the Classic. Royal Ship just owning the San Diego. Royal Ship makes it look easy. And on Sunday, juvenile turf spring contenders will battle in the Speakeasy Stakes. At Aqueduct, juvenile division hopefuls will compete in the Champagne, and their juvenile turf division counterparts will go in the Pilgrim. And two-year-old fillies will take the spotlight in the Frisette, a win and you're in for the juvenile fillies, and in the Miss Grillo, a win and you're in for the juvenile fillies turf. Saturday at Churchill Downs, Speaker's Corner will look to punch his ticket to the big ass fans dirt mile in the Ack Ack. Speaker's Corner bid this field a pleasant Saturday good afternoon. Speaker's Corner under Junior Alvarado, an easy winner of the Gulfstream Park Mile. He won by five. And Sunday at Paris Longchamp, five Breeders' Cup winning year in events will be held, including the iconic Arc de Triomphe. For more on the Arc Day action, here's Jess Stafford. The Breeders' Cup Challenge Series continues this weekend here in Europe and it is, of course, Paris Longchamp and the Qatar Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe, a Breeders' Cup win annual in for the Longines Turf. So much at stake and it is, of course, Europe's richest horse race. It's attracted a really healthy field size of 20. No very elegant under controversial circumstances, but it does include last year's winner, Torquato Tasso, who won at 80 to 1. He'll be back to defend his crown. Uh, the main rivals for him include the Irish Champion States winner, Luxembourg, and the five time Group 1 winning mayor, Alpinista. Of course, this race was won by the mighty Founds and Enable, who went on to win the Breeders' Cup turf themselves. And that is the main course, but it doesn't stop there. There are four other Breeders' Cup win and you're in races across the course of Sunday, including the Prix de l'Opera for the Makers Mark Phillies and Mayor Turf, a race that Tanara won in 2021 before winning the Breeders' Cup Turf. So is there another Breeders' Cup contender in this field? Well, Nashua looks to be the headliner in here, and John and Thady Goldston's mare is already a Group 1 winner, and her owner, Imad al Sagar has made it very clear he would love to send her over to Keeneland come November. Outside of that, the Prix de l'Abbé de Longchamp Longines is for the sprinters, a win and you're in for the turf sprint. It was won by another Breeders' Cup champion in glass slippers all those years ago, and a healthy field of 19 line up again this year. Outside of that, well, plenty more opportunities for the juveniles to stake their automatic entry into the Breeders' Cup in the Qatar Prix Marcel Boussac for the Juvenile Police Turf and the Qatar Prix Jean Luc Lagardère for the Juvenile Turf. So more European action come this Sunday. Plenty of opportunities to get more entries, more qualifications for Keeneland come November. The 2022 Breeders' Cup will be held on November 4th and 5th at Keeneland Racecourse in Lexington, Kentucky. For tickets and information, go to breederscup.com.